What's up, Tortoise? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and This Bitch. Join me as I read you you all's motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, make sure that you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. You must sage the cards for all of my Taurus gods. All right, babies. Since I didn't get to do the beginning parts of January for uh, you, I am going to continue the rest of January for you guys in the order that it follows, okay? Um, as I was pre-shuffling and getting clear audience messages for some of you guys, I feel like a lot of you all um, need to release yourself away from a situation or forgive someone or someone needs to forgive you. Now, don't be taking your, uh, don't be giving them your, all of your heart, okay? There also could be some expectations that some of you guys might have for people. You're getting ready to set those boundaries. And I feel like as you're setting those boundaries, some of you guys might be escaping away from others. And it might be a time to take um, some time to get away from yourself. So, let's jump right in this motherfucker. Some of you guys need to slow down as well when it comes down to your eating as well. Or, you know, just do things in moderation, okay? So, give me the overall energies of what's crowning my Torden for the rest of January. Give me what is crowning for my Torden. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. All right, very first card out is the Queen of Swords. So yeah, you guys are cutting some something off. You're not having any more expectations anymore. You want the strict motherfucking truth, okay? The bitch ain't gonna give it to you. The motherfuck goodbye, okay? That's what I'm seeing. Seven of Wands energy here. So because there was something that you had to cut off in a connection or just cut off together, you're definitely standing in your truth with this Queen of Swords here. Some of you guys are taking your authoritative position back. Okay, I feel like you've had to protect yourself as well with this Queen of Swords with her ninth out. Could have been a lot of disagreements that have taken place. This could have taken place last year, but I feel like there could have been a lot of disagreements or there was a lot of competition or struggles that's around your situation where you're having to heal from this. You might feel stuck or stagnant, but I feel like some of you guys are just going to take the motherfucking high road and keep it pushing. All right. Now, there could be somebody who's watching your energy with this page of swords here. You also could be doing some research some studying. I feel like some of you guys might be playing um, games online or this also might be interactions with computers as well, too. With that page of swords, I'm also seeing um, for some of you all, there's a lot of patience that you're having to learn and go through. It's kind of irritating because I feel you guys are kind of irritated. But at the same time, some of you guys don't want to deal with others if they're going to give you a headache. Okay. So let's see what's going down in love for my tortoise. Give me the overall energies for my tortoise for the rest of January. We have new love. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then we also have worth waiting for. Okay, so tortoise and free yourself. Okay, there also could be a wedding. Somebody might be talking about a marriage, but you also might feel like you have to, like this person might be a bugaboo, okay? Especially with that page of swords. They just keep on talking and talking and talking. It says you've already met the romantic partner that you see. So I feel like... um there's some time you either need to take away from your partner or there could be some new love that's coming in. Let's let's see what's popping in this mother sucker. Tortoise, between you and your partner. 
what's to come as i'm splitting the deck i do see the ace of cups so it does say stay optimistic but do not go in with high expectations like this motherfucker's gonna do every little thing that you say they're gonna do or like i said they got it's like a little bugaboo around somebody who doesn't know how to shut the fuck up <laughs> Also could be somebody that you feel irritated with. That you don't want to forgive. It's like, I don't want you around. Oh. You got the King of Wands here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Also the Prince of Cups. So, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is definitely here. I'm also seeing a fire sign as well. Some of you guys could be putting the past behind you because someone is very stuck here. Okay, they have no motivation. Could be Sagittarian energy as well. But I feel like uh, this could be Cancerian as well. This could be a family situation that you're trying to heal from or someone's trying to heal from. But I feel like uh, for some of you guys, there's an irritant that you just want some alone time. That's what that escapism was all about. So for some of you guys, you're not healing away from a situation properly. But there could be someone older here that you might that you feel like you have to take charge or that they have to take charge in the situation. Definitely can't set in energy. Also getting Virgo in. Ten of Swords, Sagittarius as well with this temperance and a fixed sign. There's something coming to an end. Something is being put to a rest with this world energy. Okay, nobody's going to stand for the fuckery and the bullshit. I feel like there was definitely some sort of aim that this person had towards ending a situation here. Okay, somebody is definitely ending a world cycle or an old cycle. This could have been a 10-year cycle or a 6-year cycle, but I'm definitely getting 10s here. Seven of Swords. The truth is going to come out. Okay, definitely could be a family situation. Somebody's anger got the best of them is what I'm getting here. Or somebody um, could have just made some ways of changing. Definitely could have found out some truth. But I feel with this Tower of Ten of Swords, there was a shakeup or there is going to be a shakeup happening very, very soon. Okay, so... This is why it's saying put more self-love into yourself more than your partnerships or relationships if they're not going to do the same shit for you. Period. Dot. Let's see what's to come in this relationship. You have the Ace of Cups here, Two of Cups, and Three of Pentacles. So there definitely could be a third party or somebody's merging in a situation, but... I feel like it brings on a lot of worry or somebody's hanging on to a situation in the past with how it was going to work or work out. But this definitely could be new love with this Ace of Cups here revealing itself straight up. Okay, or someone trying to come back and make a situation work. But I feel like there's a, I feel like for some of you guys, somebody's holding on to the situation of the old bad news. Or there could have been somebody that's ending a connection altogether because it was not working for them. It was driving them insane. You have the devil energy here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. But I feel like somebody's going to try to stay busy or keep busy. Definitely a love connection here, though, tortoise. But I feel like somebody's very jealous. Or there could be somebody who's not cooperative with this emperor and the king of cups in reverse. Definitely Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody who doesn't have their shit together or they're flippity-flopping and on having their shit together. Very uh, flighty energy here, okay? But I also feel like this person um, wants to... It's kind of like they're intrusive, Okay, this motherfucker is um, angry. Or this could be you, Torta. Let's see about possible outcomes. And then I'll see about my singles as well. Possible outcomes for my tortoise for the rest of January. Two of Swords here. 
Six of Cups in reverse. Some of you guys are definitely leaving somebody in the past. They pushed you away because you have the Empress energy here right next to the Nine of Swords. Definitely somebody of the past, okay? This also could be Kansetian energy, like I said. You have the Ace of Swords here, so somebody's trying to communicate a situation. But I feel like this is straight bugaboo status. Like, somebody is, like, worried all the time, in their head all the time, wondering what you're doing. Like, ugh. So let's see some clarifiers here, but I do feel like there's a major decision coming up for you, Torden. Um, yeah, it says it's you, not them. Stay or go. So who finna come stay or go? Because some real shit getting ready to take place because time is definitely of the essence here. So either some of you guys are going to have to stay fluid, <clears throat> you're going to have to keep track of time, or... You're going to have to understand in real time what the real deal is, okay? Especially if you wanted to make a decision towards ending the situation, because I do have my blank card here. It's a lot of endings coming to an end, okay? Uh, this also could be lovers and friends. I also get that some of you guys do have a father figure that's uh, very uh, out of whack. Or there could be a father figure around the situation or in the environment, but you do have lovers and friends here. So there's somebody that has to pick and choose whether this is a lovers and friends situation, a romantic relationship, something that's going to be lasting. Okay. Or this person definitely has uh, issues with fighting their own damn energy with you. Okay. Especially temptation with that devil. Could be dealing with the Piscean energy from afar into three of swords here so yeah page of swords there's somebody coming with some information or seeking out some information in your environment torn so definitely watch out for that it could be gemini libra aquarius also leo sagittarius aries okay so let's see about my singles my single torrents make sure you hit that motherfucking like button while you're here tortoise Darlings. Here we go. Oh, we got the devil. Shit. So somebody sex drugging and rocking and rolling. Okay, this is temptation. This is regrets. <laughs> also could be very toxic energy here as well, too, Tortoise. So I feel like with this devil coming upright, very first card for a lot of you singles. Some of you guys might be trying to get in where you fit in a little too much. Okay. Or you could be dealing with people who are doing the most. You could be smoking, drinking. Um, but I also feel like with this full energy here, some of y'all are just going with the motherfucking flow or you need to go with the flow. You do have the moon here and also the page of swords. So there could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius around in everyone's environment with this torrent energy where somebody is keeping to themselves a secret. Also, the fool could be something that you've just done on the low low that you're ashamed of, baby. It's okay, baby. It's okay, baby. <laughs> you got the two of swords here in the chariot. So I feel a lot of you guys might be in two minds about getting into a relationship. But I see you keeping your options open. And you're ready for, you know, different variations of different people. Okay, what they can offer you, what you're ready to take on. But I also feel if you're not ready for this situation, let your inhibitions run wild before you try to jump into a relationship. Because that's what it look like y'all finna do, babe. Okay. I love you guys oh so much. I hope that this video resonated with you. Um, but a lot of you guys need to take care of yourself. Okay. And I also feel like you're getting ready to rise above the rest, Torden, especially with all of these tens here. It's a lot of coming up happening. So I love you guys all so much, and I will see you all in the next video. And let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Peace.